Most businesses fail due to lack of capital. In today's video, we're going to talk about how business funding works. I got a story time, right? So I just had a consultation with a client and they weren't really familiar with the whole business funding process. So I just wanted to hop on here and just talk about how business funding works. We could just talk about like A to Z and just help y'all get to the next level. So make sure you put on the post notifications, all of that. It's going to be a good one. So in terms of business funding, let's talk about how it works. Let's talk about, you know, why people would even decide to work with us to get the business funding, because I know you may be watching, maybe you're new to my channel. Maybe you don't know me from, you know, a can of paint, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to help you figure that out. So number one, we're on a mission to basically help fund $1 billion to small business owners because they small business owners like you stimulates the economy. You feel me? So as far as like how business funding works, where should we even start? So personal credit, right? You want to first look at your personal credit. So the way you can do business funding is pretty much twofold. You can do the traditional way of building the business credit, which is, you know, getting the net 30 accounts, net 60s, net 90s. You go through the different tiers. Um, you can look up how to do all that. I will say, spoiler alert, I don't do it that way. I don't teach how to do it that way. The way that I do it is alternative way, which is prioritizing your personal credit, making sure you got the good accounts and then, you know, leveraging it that way. So if you don't know what like a personal guarantee means, it means that you as your personal self is co-signing your business right? There's other like stuff you can do as far as like buying age corporations and things like that. But I want y'all to focus if you're if you're watching my channel, I want you to focus on your personal credit. All right. Some people go with the EIN only, but we don't necessarily want to do that. So let's just talk about the blueprint, right? In terms of how we're going to do it. So y'all know two different routes you can take. You could take EIN only where you're just going to go build the net 30s, net 60s, net 90s. You can do the personal route, which I'm recommending, or you can technically do both in a sense, but we're going to focus on the personal route. So number one, let's talk about a personal credit. Your personal credit has to be on point, right? Your personal credit has to be on point. What is your personal credit being on point meaning? So people typically say minimum, you want to have like 680. If you're watching my channel, we don't do minimum. Minimum is for losers, right? We want to be winners. If you're watching my channel, you're a winner. Minimum has to be at least 700 something. We don't want to see no 680, no nothing, right? I'm going to be transparent. If someone has a 680, we could probably do something to help you. But I want y'all to be in a winner's mindset, right? Why should you settle for average, right? Think about it. If you, let's say you a dude. Let's say you a dude, you're trying to holler at a girl or something. Why are you going to settle for average when you know that you, you know, top tier? If you know you top tier. If you don't know you top tier, then you don't know you top tier. But the thing is, you just got to understand and give yourself some, give yourself instructions like, OK, I'm I'm him. You feel me? And do what you need to do. So, number one, we want to make sure we're not average. Right. The average people have 680. We want to make sure we're at least 700 something. Right. And we want to make sure it's like that. As far as the score. But we want to also make sure that um, we have not a thin profile. When I say a thin profile, you want to have builder accounts. You want to have accounts in your name. One thing I will say when it comes to stuff like self lender and all that, you know, you do have those builder accounts, credit strong. I don't like those necessarily for the simple fact that there's no next level with it. Right. You want to look at how do I get to the next level? So you hear stuff like a uh, Navy federal pledge loan, all that stuff. Right. The good thing about like a Navy Federal or actual credit union or bank, they have the next product. You want to always think, okay, what's the next product that I'm going to get so I can get myself to the next level? So that's what you, that's how you want to look at it when it comes to actually building a credit if you need a build. But those of y'all that's watching this, your personal credit is already where it's supposed to be. Skip a little bit in the video, but I'm trying to help people from A to Z because I just got inspired by the consultation call I just had. And the, the client didn't really, you know, know much about uh, credit and how the process works. So I understand the importance I serve in putting out this information. So 
you want to have those accounts, right? I like to say at least 10 positive reporting accounts, but you can get away with like seven. I ain't going to cap to y'all. So you want to have, um, like I said, accounts in your name. These are primaries. So you can't have it yourself. Go get like a Navy Federal pledge loan. Go get, you, go get you like a huge federal credit union pledge loan. Just be building the, just be building your credit, right? So once you get those accounts, if you have student loans, hopefully they're in good standing. If you know about me and my story, you know, I paid off my student loans within one year. Score dropped once I paid it off, but then, you know, it adjusts over time, you know. So student loans are going to be a good account for you. So just make sure you have a diverse amount of accounts. If you got an auto loan that you're paying with good history, that, that's even perfect. If you got a personal loan you're paying, that's perfect as well. So you want to make sure that you have these accounts so that you're basically showing to the lender that you're someone that people can lend to, right? One thing too, you want to make sure that you have, and I got something in my eye. Don't make sure you got nothing in your eye. That's one thing I'll say. So you want to make sure that you... um have personal credit cards, personal credit cards. So a lot of times people have these baby ass limits. I recommend, people say you could have like $2,500 limit. I recommend you have at least a 5K limits and up, preferably five figure limits, 10K and up. But I understand your situation might be not what it is. The thing with that too, you wanna make sure that these personal credit cards you have are at least, I wanna say at least six months open. But, um, you know, if longer, even better. It's freaking something in my eye. That's pissing me off. But, yeah, make sure that you have that. So that'll help you as well. So you got the credit cards. You got the different accounts that you got. Obviously, you want to have no negatives. If you have at least a 700 or something, I'm assuming you don't have negatives. Don't have too many hard inquiries. When I say don't have too many, don't have like more than three to four per bureau. But to be honest, we've gotten people approved. They had more. It's just that the hard inquiries were a little bit older. So it depends on how old they are as well. So these are just all the stipulations that comes with the personal credit. You just want to make sure everything is on point, right? That's my whole point. I got so many videos as far as how to build the credit, how to uh, dispute, you know, get the negative items re uh, removed. 15 USC, da -da 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 this, you know what I'm saying? I got like a whole four hour consumer law thing you can watch. So go ahead and watch it on my channel. If you haven't, let's get to the back. Let's get to the funding, all right? So the personal credit is structured properly. Whether we have a new LLC, old LLC, corporation, whatever, if your personal credit is how it's supposed to be, you are likely to get approved for business funding, all right? So when I say business funding, you got to remember, just going again, you know, I want to I teach you like use someone that don't know what business funding is. So business funding is an umbrella term. It could be per business credit cards. It could be a uh, business lines of credit, you know, business loans, et cetera, right? So keep that in mind. A lot of what we do is business credit cards specifically. Why do we do business credit cards? Why would people even want to work with us? Why would you as a small business owner want to work with us when you can just go apply online by yourself? I'm glad you asked. I will answer those questions. So small business uh business credit cards. I said small business credit cards. We want big business credit cards, but business credit cards, right? The 0% interest concept. Let me use Chase Bank, for example, because Chase Bank is, you know, they're lending out pretty good right now at the time I'm recording. So with the Chase Bank, let's say you get a $50,000 limit. If you've seen my channel, you've seen how I help my client get $75,000 limit, right? I will be transparent. The client that I, I spoke about, I got the 75,000. They were making money in their business already. So it's not necessarily like if you're just coming out the gate and you ain't made no money in your business that you're just going to get all these, you know, amazing approvals. You can you can and will get approved, but I want y'all to have realistic expectations as well. So that's just like a sidebar. But the 0% interest concept, right? Maybe you're working nine to five. Maybe you're working a nine to five, scamming as a nine to five your whole life. You don't know how all this credit stuff works, right? Let me teach you. So 0%, what does that mean? Chase Bank, for example, they got 0% for 12 months on some of their cards. What that means is, let's use a $50,000 example. What that means is on that $50,000 Chase business credit card, if you liquidate or use the entire $50,000, your minimum payment is going to be 1% of that balance for that 12-month period, right? As long as you make that 1% payment, which is what? 
$500 on that $50,000. If you use $50,000 to invest in something, whether it's e-commerce or ads or, you know, whatever you're investing in real estate, whatever, if you can't be paying $500 a month for 12 months, you're not supposed to be borrowing money anyways. So I want y'all to like be realistic with your expectations. When you hop on a sales call with us, it's far, I won't say sales call because, you know, the funding is just a funding. When you hop on a, a funding call with us, we're going to ask you, like, what do you want to do with the money? It's not to be super nosy. We just want to make sure that you have a plan because we don't want you to get the money and then you go do some some dumbass stuff with it. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure that you're using the money for something that's an asset. You can literally go to like flippa.com, go buy a business that's already cash flowing, right? You can uh, invest in yourself, go invest in some type of mentorship or something, you know, make sure you're using the money for something smart. Don't be a dumbass with your funding. You feel me? And the thing too, let's say you get a $50,000 card from Chase. Let's say you get a $50,000 card from Citizens. You got $100,000 in funding, right? This is realistic stuff that we're helping people do, right? So let's say you got that. You don't have to use the entire funding. So keep that in mind. Some people look at it like, oh, shoot, I got a $50,000 uh, business credit card. I got to use the entire thing. No, you don't. You have a choice of how much you want to use. If you get a $50,000 card going through us, okay, cool. You don't got to use the entire thing. Go Speaking now about us, why would you, as someone that's watching this video, want to even work with us? These people that cat consumer ammunition tactics that are on a mission to fund $1 billion to small business owners. Number one, we have the relationships, right? So if you don't know, there's something called a bank relationship manager. This is basically somebody that works directly with the underwriter to help you, you know, get the approval. So let's say you're someone that has no relationships at all. You go and apply online. Cool. You got your 800 credit score, whatever. Okay, maybe you get a 10, 15K limit, if if anything. If you took that same profile you went through us that has the relationships to help you go through DocuSign and get to that uh, bank relationship manager to get higher limit approvals, you could potentially get 40, 50, 75,000 like that client. And then, you know, we do a 10%, which is an industry standard, 10% success fee. So it's like... You got to weigh the net positive. The only reason why, if you're watching this as someone that has no relationships, the only reason why you wouldn't want to work with us is if you're a hater. You're just like, oh, damn, they're going to get paid. I'm going to I'm gonna diminish my own progress so that these people don't get paid. You know what I'm saying? That don't, that don't That's really the only reason why you wouldn't want to work with us. Like You got to really think about it. Think about it. If you're going to go by yourself, to maybe get five to 10K limit, right? Okay, cool. You kept your five to 10K versus you work with somebody that can help you get 50K and up. You pay 10%. You have at least 45,000 plus net positive. So you got to look at it like you're the biggest hater to your business if you choose not to work with somebody that's been helping multiple people that are in your situation. You know what I'm saying? So that's just a sidebar, um, whether it's working with us or a different, I, I can't say how other business funding companies work. I can only speak on what we do. But if you're watching this, you're only hurting yourself. You're only hurting your family. You're only hurting your generation. Don't don't make sure your, your kids might hate you if you don't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> make the right move. You feel me? Nah, but um, if you want to work with us, you know, link will be in the description. But, you know, I'm just playing around. I just I just want this to be like educational video as far as the whole business funding and if you do happen to be that small business owner maybe you're working that scamming as a nine to five you're trying to get out of maybe you're already in your business and you're looking to get more capital right maybe you got a negative item or a couple on your credit but you make money already right we can get you revenue-based funding as well so you know we do all types of things funding we just want to make sure that small business owners get the capital that they need to start grow or scale their business but I guess I'll leave it at there. I hope this video was helpful, at least uh, for those of y'all that may not know about the process, that may not know why you would want to work with us. Um, and this is why, like, credit repair business owners, they pay me thousands of dollars so that they can, you know, get access to the connections that I have because these connections will allow you to get access to, you know, a big amount of funding. Like, think about it. You pay, um, like, let's say you pay a certain amount of money to get in our like 10k mentorship right you pay our 10k mentorship 
if you get like two people fifty thousand dollars in funny you already made 10k you feel me so this is not a video to promote like the higher ticket mentorship but you know those that will get tapped in will get tapped in this is more so for you if you're a small business owner that is looking for funding um if you want to apply if you have a good credit if you don't have good credit please do not book a call unless you're already making money in your business we don't want to talk to people that are not that you got to bring something to the table. If you're not bringing nothing to the table, do not book a call, right? Just keep watching the videos because we we be seeing like some of the people that some of y'all that be booking calls, it's like the audacity to book a call knowing that your credit score 400, you never made no money in business, your credit score at three, 305, no, I'm playing. But I say that to say like, you got to bring something to the table for lack of a better term, you know? So whether that is money, if your credit isn't good, or if that's good credit, something has to be good. You can't just be a loser at everything. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully this video was helpful. With that being said, uh, make sure you keep watching the videos and y'all have a blessed one.